In this video, we will talk about uh, Mobius Band as a, a fiber bundle. You can get a, a Mobius Band as a physical thing by taking a piece of uh, a paper that is rectangular and then uh, identify the two sides in the opposite direction way. So in particular, you know, a point here is identified with the point here. So that's it. That's a a Mobius band, but we want to see uh, a Mobius band as you know through the light of a fiber bundle. I will give a coordinate uh, to the Mobius band. So horizontally, the coordinate goes from zero to two pi, and vertically, I will see it goes from zero, you know, to one. Before you identify the two sides, the rectangular region is zero to two pi cross zero, one. So the product of two intervals and mod a equivalent relationship. So a point here, that is 0t, is identified with a point here, that is coordinate 2 pi, 1 minus t. So here the topology is the quotient topology. So as a topological space, a Mobius band is something like this. This is uh, the bundle space of the fiber bundle. Now we need uh, the base space. So the base space will be a circle, which is S1. And we will represent S1 as a horizontal line segment expanding from 0 to 2 pi and by identifying uh, the, the number 0, the point 0, and point 2 pi. So the reason that you know, we don't draw a circle but a, a horizontal line is because the best way to visualize fiber bundle is you have a bundle space on top of uh, the base space and uh, above each point in the base space, you can see its fiber on the top of it. That would be the best uh, visualization of a fiber bundle. So the S1 is identified as an interval 0 to 2 pi mod the relationship of 0 equals to 2 pi. So this is a base space. And a fiber bundle has a projection map from the bundle space to the uh, base space. And the projection is for each vertical line in the Mobius band like this, it is mapped to a point like this. So if this vertical line corresponds to angle theta between 0 and 2 pi, and then it is mapped to angle theta in S1. So I can just write this map as P, you know, theta t. This represents a point in the Mobius band, maps, maps it to theta. The expression here is really uh, has a lot of ambiguity. The ambiguity comes from when theta is equal to 0 or 2 pi. A point on this line could also be represented by another point on this line with a different coordinate. So this point is mapped to 2 pi and this point is mapped to 0. So but 0 and 2 pi they are identified in the circle in S1 so uh, the map is well defined. Suppose we know this is this projection P gives us a, a fiber bundle, then we can talk about a section of a fiber bundle. So a section is just a map from the base space to the bundle space uh, with the requirement that uh, you know, a point should be only mapped into uh, the fiber over it. So a section would look like uh, this. Of course, you know, a section should be a continuous map, so you know, uh, zero, and 2 pi should be mapped to the same point. The reason that we talk about uh, a fiber bundle is because you know, Mobius band, you know, obviously an interesting topological object, is not uh, the product space of base S1 and the, the interval 0, 1. But locally, Mobius band is a product of space. So more precisely, we would say the, the map P from Mobius band to S1 is a fiber bundle. So when we say this, you know, assume we know that the P is well defined and continuous, what are the things that we need to check? The only thing that we need to check is the following. If S1, the base space, can be covered by open sets V such that the pre-image of V, P inverse of V, is homeomorphic to the product space of V cross 0, 1, and the restriction of the projection P on the pre-image of V is basically 
the projection of the product space into its first coordinate, then we can say that the projection P from Mobius band to S1 is a fiber bundle. Here we see that you know, we already said that you know, P basically maps theta T to theta. P is basically a projection of product space onto its uh, first coordinate, but here the definition has a lot of ambiguity. But locally, it should be precisely in a projection onto its first coordinate. So let's see an example. So we are considering an open interval in S1 that covers uh, the angle theta equals to zero. So on a line segment like this, we have to represent them into uh, two intervals. And its pre-image is simply uh, two regions like these. Of course, these regions are connected because uh, this side and this side you know, are identified. But on this rectangle region, we have to draw it uh, separate. So it is this rectangle and this rectangle mod uh, the same uh, equivalence relationship in the Mobius band. The pre-image here is basically this interval cross 0, 1 interval. What are the uh, maps? Not surprisingly, theta t is mapped to theta t, but only one theta is between 0 and 1. So when theta is between 6, and 2 pi, well, we need to actually flip this region. So theta t is mapped to theta 1 minus t. And we can check, you know, when you have 0 t and 2 pi t, they're supposed to be uh, the same point on the left side, and they are indeed mapped to the same point on the right side. So it is well defined, and you can check it is a homeomorphism and it preserves a fiber. Preserving fiber just means that uh, this diagram commutes.